Good afternoon, everyone. Bishop, we're on the rock. And not sinking sand. Yes, uh, and that rock is? Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm Reverend Dr. Evelyn Underwood, and you, sir? I'm Dr. Bishop King James Underwood. And we're excited to be alive. We're yes. excited to be alive on the, uh, what, on the right side of the dirt. Okay, I, well, you can say that. <laughs> yes, sir. And I want to say that, that uh, those young people, you know, it takes young people, you know, and it takes us for wisdom. Mm. We can't forget that. We need everyone. But that global strike on uh, Friday, uh, Friday the 20th, uh, 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 yesterday, uh, uh, if people are watching me alive now, but later on, if they're watching me, it was Friday, uh, uh, September the 20th, when all over the world, mm. Uh, they went on strike, the young people, for um, global warming, uh, 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 the climate change. Uh, they want uh, us to act. These young people, I think they, uh, they was led by Greta. Uh, I can't think of her last name right now, but she was from Sweden, Switzerland. Yes, and she start, started this uh, 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 some time ago, and uh, it's just been going and going and going all over the world. The young people are taking note of this. And I mean, in New York City, I tell you, I could just see thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. And one country, uh, they said it was the first, I was in Australia, so the first time they had so many people, uh, of, I mean, young and old people, so many people protesting. And, I mean, it was all over the world. You can read it. You can go online and read about it. Uh, I tell you, it was just something to see. But the young people are saying they want action, and they are going they're peacefully to uh, their uh, uh, countrymen, Bishop, mm -hmm. their leaders, their governmental leaders. And we need to pray for them and also join with them in action. Mm. We can see the results of it. And some people want to say it's not real, you know, just like they tried to say that the Holocaust was not real. And we know that it was real when uh, six million Jewish people uh, were killed, you know, and they're going to say it wasn't real? Come on, when you say things are not real, it can happen again. We cannot have that. We got to pray. And this global warming and uh, this climate uh, what's going on with it. We can see it. So we need to act in Jesus' name. We need to act in Jesus' name. And the young people can see it. And apparently sometimes uh, the older people, uh, they're so busy with their lives. They're so busy making money. They're so busy doing things. Uh, and I didn't mean to go on and on about that. But, you know, we have to deal with the whole man, Bishop. That's what you've taught mm -hmm. us. In our church, we have to work and deal with the old, whole man. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got to live in this world. And, um, and uh, we deal with education. We deal with educating our young people mm -hmm. about what's going on in the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, so we got to continually, uh, uh, continually read the newspapers. And, and, and uh, a lot of our young people stay on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other ones, uh, 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 social media outlets that are available to us. But we have to, too, uh, um, I, I, I read books, too. And some young people say they've never read a, 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 a book, you know, because they got, the, got it available at other places. But uh, I can't change what people do. And, and, you know, just like I was talking to some people uh, uh, today, uh, yesterday, I'm sorry, and, and uh, even last week, uh, mm -hmm. you know, about church and all this. Well, they don't want to stay in church, you know, you stay in church too long, you know. Uh, uh, they've got other things to do. But uh, Sunday, one day, and generally on Wednesday, or uh, Tuesday, Bible study. Why is it they are so... Uh, uh want to get out of church so early. They stayed at the club all night, so uh, why can't they uh, give God some time? They stayed at the club all night, and they want to go home and sleep on God's time. Yeah, you know, that's why, you know, uh, <laughs> the thing is, 
uh, uh, church is a lifestyle. A, a Christianity relationship. We're not talking about religion. We're talking about relationship with God. Giving God some of your time. Spending time with God. Even every day. Mm. You know, before you uh, uh, go anywhere. When you open your eyes. Give God 10 or 15 minutes in his word. Or just meditate. Just thanking him. You know, uh, uh, th that's what I do, you know, and that's what I encourage the young people to do. Read your scriptures. When we champagne the van day, we give Bibles out, hundreds and hundreds of Bibles. I tell the young people, before you go to school, uh, read one scripture in the morning. Before you go to school every day, read one scripture in the morning, and it'll help you, and just meditate on that scripture, and it'll help you. When, with your lesson, it'll help you with your relationship with uh, the young uh, the young people, the, your fellow young people that you interact with. You know, I mean, that's kindergarten through 12th grade. The young people are bright today. I said, if you don't read it in your Bible, go to your computer, because a lot of them have a computer, an mm -hmm. iPad, uh, right at, at their fingertip. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Or at school, I know, uh, 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 or your little Bible that we give them. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that just read your scripture, keep it on your uh, table or wherever in your room uh, and read the scripture. And some of them say, I read and I, I memorize uh, uh, scriptures and blah, blah, blah. Uh, um, and and say, but I just want my own mm -hmm. Bible. That's what they tell. And I said, well, you do that. And, and, and it'll help you with your relationships and if they got time you know, and want to talk to me about it. And I said, you know, and it'll help you with your relationship and you can make good decisions. And a lot of time their parents are standing right there and they're uh, agreeing. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time their parents are the ones that bring them there to get a Bible and other school supplies. Mm -hmm. And they are agreeing and say, yes, you know, this is good for them to do. So anyway, it's important. Uh, and when you go to church on Sunday, why can't you give some time uh, Sunday school and after Sunday school church and yes it's probably going to be uh, two or three hours but then when you go home you know you'll feel good and it can take you all week all week and then you then you can take and live out it's the filling station the filling station for you to be able to get filled up and live it out throughout the week you know, you can live it out throughout the week mm. when, you're in, when you interact with other people. You can remember what happened in Sunday school because in Sunday school we have demonstrations of the lesson, mm -hmm. you know, and we have bring it to reality. Although sometimes we're talking about what happened in the Old Testament, we bring it down to what's going on today. Mm hmm and how you can live your life. Application, Bishop, that's what you call it. Yeah. It's not enough to know and don't apply it. Got to apply it to your life. Mm -hmm. And so we can do that in the Sunday school. And our young people are involved, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in the Sunday school. And then in the, when I preach, I have them looking up scripture. Mm -hmm. They can look it up if they bring their iPad to church. A lot of them do. Mm -hmm. uh, they can look up. I said, get your Bibles or get your iPad or your phones. I want you to look up scripture because you're going to be involved in this message. Mm -hmm. You know, because I want them involved uh, so they can be able to live it out the next week. Mm -hmm. You know, and, yeah, uh, and, and that's what I like because it's the word that's going to uh, 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 help you. Yeah, going to football game, being involved in sports and all that is good for you. But it's good for you to come to church on Sunday. And, uh, and you know what? There are some activities. Uh, we have our young people involved in activities that the, our, our, our church reach out into the community and do. So all of that is important. But you need um, a, 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 a life that includes God in it. You know, I, I found that... Uh, Young people, when I was uh, uh, teaching uh, in school 
and counseling and all of that, I found the young people that uh, uh, we didn't, uh, I couldn't talk about that, but I found, you know, that the young people who had a sense of, of godliness, you know, the righteousness, and a lot of them had that fairness, mm. you know, they all, they love, especially in middle school, that fairness, you know, and young people who uh, say, I did this in my Sunday school. I recited in my Sunday school. And a lot of them say, I, when we went, if they're involved in different activities, they re, uh, did uh, reciting and was involved and, and, and had to uh, 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 do writings and, and, and was involved in activities outside. They were better in school because they were not afraid to get up mm. and do activities at, at, at uh at school. So if you are in church or you're involved in other activities in the community, then mm. you're not afraid when you get in school mm. to uh, do uh, 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 activities when the teacher asks you to get up and read. Or uh, Now they are reading in middle school. I know that they are getting up and reading uh, um, uh, out loud. Mm. You know, and that is important. You know, they know that the young people can read. You know, uh, I think that's important. So it's important to uh, be involved. All the young people, 18 and under, uh, in our church, they have to read. Mm. You have to come up front and read. And, uh, 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 and, and that's what, you know, it, I mean, they, they're asked to do it. Mm. Uh, uh, and, and they love it. Uh, and, and once you read uh, 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 before other people, it gives you the... Uh, 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 it helps you uh, mm -hmm. to be able to uh, uh, read mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, in school if you're asked. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important. And be a part. Now uh, in school they've got uh, people working together. Uh, like, uh, for an example, uh, 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 the young people, uh, they're in groups. Mm -hmm. And they have to come, they come together and work. Uh, sometime outside, they would go to the library together, and they bring a group projects, projects. Mm -hmm. They're working on projects, so that's important. Yeah. Now, I those are my announcements. Now let me get into what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> that global warming and the climate change and the young people, millions of young people, four million they said, oh, in one day, you know. So now I'm going to get into what we're going to talk about today. After Bishop Sin. Well, you haven't read the scripture yet. Oh, I got to read the scripture. <laughs> and the word is important. Let's go to the Bible, everyone. Uh, and I'm going to read right quick. Uh, but what I talked about, I believe, is important uh, to our young people. And you know, Bishop, I'm for the youth. Um, and when they're doing something important, like yesterday, all over the world, not the United States, the world, coming out uh, uh, because they want a change that's going to affect all of us. We're going to go, everyone, to St. Matthew's the, uh, uh, 16 chapter, begin at verse 13. And it reads thusly. And of course, we are in the King James Version. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, mm -hmm. he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men... Uh, say that I, the Son of Man, am. And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, mm -hmm. some uh, Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter, <laughs> Bishop Simon Peter again, mm -hmm answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the, the Son, Son of, of the, the living, living God. God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not re revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, mm -hmm. and upon this rock, this, this right. revelation knowledge, hallelujah, mm -hmm. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not, shall not, mm. shall not prevail against it. 
Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. And we thank and praise God for his word. As I forestated, his word is what going to save us, is going to keep us, and we're going to be judged by the word of God. Mm. And that's why we need to get it in our hearts that we might not sin against him. And when we get it in our hearts, young people, when we come to church and we do it at home, we build a relationship. It's not religious. It's not religious. They say religiosity. It's a relationship with God. It's a relationship we can build with others when we love God and want to reach out to our fellow man or our fellow people, our peers in Jesus' name. And Bishop, uh, mm -hmm. I, you're our uh, what? A psalmist. Mm -hmm. If you could sing, sing us a few songs, we might have to sing it and go home. But I think <laughs> I've given a message to our young people and yep. their parents mm -hmm. uh, also. Okay. okay. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, how low would be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Ah, ah, Amen. 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 We're going to sing, Precious Lord. Uh, we're going to sing a different dialect this time. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand. Precious Lord, lead me home. When my way grows real, precious Lord, linger near. When my light, it is all most gone. Hear my cry, hear my call. Hold my hand, let's I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. When the darkness appear and the night draweth near, yes. and the day has passed and gone. Hear my cry, ah. hear my call, mm. hold my hand, let's yes, not fall. fall. Take my, my hand, precious Lord, Lord, lead me home. Precious Lord, take my hand and lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak. 
and I'm on through the storm, through the night. Lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. When my way grows real, precious Lord, linger near. When my light, it is almost gone. At the river I stand, guide my feet, hold my hand, take my hand, and precious Lord, lead me home. Precious Lord, take my hand. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, Abba. my Father. Ah. There is ah. no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest ah. not ah. the compassion, they fail not. As thou hast been, Thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have ah. needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy ah. faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer um. and winter and springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars and their courses above. John with all nature and man a full witness to thy great ah. faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth. Thine on their presence to cheer and to guide. Peace for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Ah. Blessings all mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, yeah. Lord. I was just thanking Lord him much day. My, uh, one of our sons had an accident, you know, and uh, uh, they had to pry him out. Bishop, what do you call the first responder? They had to pry him out of that car. They had to, uh, Abasha, and he wasn't dead. Thank you, Lord, for concussion and all of that. Because of the faithfulness of God, not long before his birthday, the devil tried to kill him. But God's faithfulness. Yes. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. And I, I Hallelujah. All the metal, metal was closed in around him, wow. but uh, it, it still he didn't get a, a scratch, but he got a concussion yes. by hitting hit, the metal hitting him. Yes. But at the same time, he was preserved. No, no, no punctures, no wounds. Yes, Lord, but he concussion. He got to. I mean, of course, the doctors got to deal with him. He got to go to physical therapy and all of that. But Lord, I mean. Uh, if you could see that car, they said he should be dead. Oh, Lord, him and somebody hit. He was riding in one of those uh, uh, um, limousine. Uh, yeah, something like that. And they hit that, and and it was crushed. And he was robbed by shot. But I thank God. Thank God. God preserved his life. Yes. God's sir. faithfulness. Woo! Oh, unto me, <laughs> Lord, have mercy. One of my twins. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, Lord, and, but that morning I was praying. I was praying. I couldn't stop praying, Bishop. Mm. You know, after we got off the prayer line, we prayed for our family, didn't we? Yeah. And then I went out in God's room and I was praying and I just couldn't stop praying. But I didn't know. Ah, Basha. But I was the protection of our family. And he, oh, he, he could have been dead with no fault of his own. But God, thank you, Jesus. And I'm reading about the faithfulness of God and, and, and God's people. When, and he's a faithful young man, faithful young man to his family and to his job and all of that. And God preserved his life. And look at Hezekiah. Hezekiah, the 18th chapter of 2 Kings, you can read that. Uh, now it came to pass in the third year of, the, uh, of Hosea, son of Eli, king of Israel, that Hezekiah, the son of Ahab, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign. And he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's um, name also was Abi, the daughter of Zechariah. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David his father did. He removed the high places and break the images and cut down the groves and break the, in pieces the brazen serpent, uh, Bishop, that Moses had made. Uh, for unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it. Begin to worship uh, 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 the uh, idols. Uh -huh. And he called in nations. He trusted in the Lord God of Israel, so that others, hit, so that after him was none like him among uh, all the kings of Judah, not any that were uh, before him. For he clave to the Lord and departed not from following him, but kept his commandments, which the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord was with him, and he prospered with, with, with it so ever he went forth. And I know we got to go. Yeah. But he was faithful to God. But, and, yes. But you have to realize, because he was faithful to God, God did something special for him. Because he turned his back to the wall, because his time was ending, God added 15 more, more years, years to his life. Lord. And, and a lot of people think that Hezekiah just lived and died, but Hezekiah was a good king. He did a lot of good things. But you have to read the, the, the book of the Kings and find out how uh, Hezekiah did a lot of things. He made some mistakes, but he corrected those mistakes, and God honored him because he always repented. Re, re, because you, you not, not have to be perfect, but try to do right, and God will bless. We love you, and God loves you best. Read Second Kings, the 18th chapter, about Hezekiah. Amen. Amen. See you next week. See you next week. I, I didn't get wound up today. <laughs> See you next week. We'll continue with what we thought in mind. <laughs>